that's not love please run if someone's doing that run we want to be fixed there's a reason they're like this <laughs> hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel for those of you who don't know who i am my name is dinelle j and today we are filming this video with a very special guest okay this is Mvelo k my best friend my wifey my f10 okay could i say my wifey i'm claiming her back up <laughs> okay so today if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail or by the title we're going to be filming a paint with us on my instagram i posted two stories where you guys leave like questions you guys want to ask us talk about red flags yeah. and a whole bunch of stuff so if you missed out on that go follow me okay go follow me so you don't miss out on those you know activities and that but we have our paint here we have our canvases as well and we're just going to be going through things you guys left me and us to address while painting. So it'd be like a little bonding thing, okay? I can't paint, I can't draw, I can't paint like... It's okay. I'm drawing, it's clear, you see? Yeah, so she's, she, the thing's about beyond that, she's an artist. I'm gonna draw it. I'm cool. <laughs> I am. From scratch. Yeah, from scratch. Yeah, yeah. It is! Bitch, do you see anything on here? No. Exactly. Okay, so the first question: Do you ever feel like expanding your friendship group no. since you're an extrovert slash introvert? I'm a, I'm an introvert, so I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. Like we have friends. Uh huh. It's just that we don't have friends that we talk to every on day. On a usual, I talk to. But we do have like high school friends. That we're still cool with, and if you yeah, want to make like plans with them, it's we not can. Like we now like we're not loners. Yeah, we do have friends. And then also with us now going into varsity and uni next year. Yeah, we are going to separate. Mm, and we're going to be kind of forced. This is into what I'm drawing. Oh, yeah, damn, we didn't even show them what. Guys, I was such an artist. Thing is, one thing about me is I can do everything, and I'm good at everything. So yeah. I'm gonna draw this. Mm -hmm. Me, the one that can draw a circle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw this. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. That's for me. I'm doing a mixture of things. I don't really have one thing. I'm gonna try and remix a bunch of pictures together. Uh, uh, wrong way. These. Y'all will see. Y'all will see how it looks like afterwards. Hopefully, First, it I'm... looks as good as I think it's gonna look. It is gonna look nice. Okay. First, I'm gonna do the outline. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so quick. No. Okay guys, now I'm done. I have I have an outline in she yellow here. I don't have an outline in yellow. I have to do the outline. Right, 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 right. Okay, so she drew an outline for me, but it wasn't that deep. Like she mm. just did rub 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 fast fast. This one is how y'all became friends. The way I remember it is that she was friends with somebody else. She was friends with a mutual friend of ours, and that mutual friend was friends with me, like in mm. a friend group. Mm. And then she was like not in the friend group and the mutual friend brought her to the friend group and then i grew closer to yeah, her she grew closer to me and then, like, and then we just hit it off really from the first time that we interacted it was never yeah like oh we just got she just thought i was evil before because like, like yeah. she okay for for starters she has an rbf for y'all that know Velo like from her high school days yeah or even from Instagram. Yes, even from Look, Instagram. That's why people smile. are so surprised when they when they meet me and I'm actually nice. When they watch your YouTube videos, they're like, "We like your yes. personality." So they'll be like, "Oh my gosh, you have such a nice personality." Like, like, does she's been that person from the start? It's just that she doesn't give off that vibe, like off the jump from like just looking at her. Yeah. Like if they if they were to talk to you, then they know. But yeah, we we just hit it off from the start, and she only ended up coming to the high school that we ended up. Which in, in, in grade nine. Grade nine. So, so and I was nice from grade eight. So yeah, that's how we met. Oh guys, we have we have this. <laughs> we have this like artists and we put your professionals. Thumb in there and professionals. Like... Pros and cons of dating to fill up a void. 
Hey, why are you dating to feel like a boy? There, I don't think there are any pros to that actually. I mean, no, like, at all. If you're dating to feel like a boy, it means that something is missing within you. Exactly. So now, if you go and try to find it from somebody else, that's not gonna work because people have their own problems and things that they have to deal with. Relationships aren't about taking your shit and releasing it on other people. Mm. What's gonna happen is that that person's gonna come with problems while you have, have a your whole own void, bro. Mm. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have more stress than you did if you were to stay alone. Mm. So there's no pro in that. They, they, Maybe a pro can be ignoring, you're ignoring your problems. Yeah. But somehow they're gonna come up because that person's gonna see them. Exactly. And then you're gonna be insecure. So if you're viewing dating as in like you're in a full-blown relationship, trying to avoid your own problems and your own issues, like you're trying to escape them in a sense, then there are no pros to that. Neither are there any pros to the whole casual thing. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going on with a sponge. I'm here using this. Let me change to the sponge. This is interesting. Oh, She's doing this is gonna look so bad. I can really so stop because I have no idea what I'm doing. No one has any idea what they're doing. It's for fun. The next one is your first impressions on each other. I kind of we kind of touched on that. I can't remember though. Like my real, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Like my real. <laughs> <laughs> my first impression of you. We we kind of already answered that one, but she's sweet. Like once once you get to know Velo, off the jump actually you are very sweet. Really? Yeah, I think so. I've never heard someone say that like you're a straight up bitch. Yeah, I've been told a lot that I'm sweet. Yeah, you're very sweet. It's why are you being rude to people? Like I couldn't need to be rude to anyone. Oh, uh, I'm only rude to you once I like you. Like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Then that's I'm true. rude to you. But like if I don't. But it's, but it's in like a playful manner. Yeah, it's not I'm like not you're rude, actually like, rude. She does it because. Yeah. It's, Kind of being nice to be nice. Nice. The reality of being an influencer. The reality. She don't know. Actually. We're not really submerged into the influencer thing. We've kind of just, just dabbled our toes in it. Yeah. So for us, the reality is a lot of money. There is no. There is. There is a lot of money. Just to figure out how to tap into it. If you've been thinking about doing it, I would say the way it, 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 it needs a lot of consistency. You. There's a lot of control as well. You have to it's, not to it's not free. Yeah, that is. It's not as free as people make it seem like I get to do this whenever I want to do this. Now, sometimes a brand is like, I want this in two days. But you, you also. It was like two, they wanted in like a couple of days. Was like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was like, absolutely like, not. You know. When am I going to sleep? Mm. They be thinking that the job is so easy and they don't want to pay you as well. Mm. Even though there is money, because they think that your job is, like, is easy. It's not easy. There's a lot of research that you have to do, do going into it so you know what you're doing, know what you're getting yourself into. Because a, a lot of these companies that you want to work with, you, put a boost. you must know what you're, what you're talking about so you can show them who you're you not. Yeah. How to glow up? Just take care of yourself. You see when you start like like you like if you start when you start putting in effort, that's when you glow up. Yeah. Before being honest. Yeah. Because before you. No one's really. really yeah. No one's really. Exactly. Like Just put in effort. Yeah. Start caring more about how you present yourself and how you dress and stuff like that. Then you would glow up. Everyone would think you're hot, but mm. the only thing you did was before you came to school, you brushed your eyebrows. <laughs> You put on some sunscreen. Mm. You, like you know, like I had pimples my whole of my high school career, mm. but like that didn't stop me from looking pretty, yeah. and it didn't stop me from getting compliments. So if you feel like you need to get any pimples again, like, you know, yeah, don't so let that stop you. Don't let that can't be your excuse. excuse. Mm. Like come on now, brush your hair. Do you have brush your teeth? Put on some lip gloss, some work. perfume, you know. Smell good, look good. Wear the correct size clothing. Like, don't be drowning in your school uniform if you wear uniform when you're in school. You know? What isn't considered a toxic trait but actually is? Actually, we're going to use this to pinpoint into the red flags poll that I also posted. Mine like, looks what, what, what is But yours this? looks nice. Uh, what do you mean? It looks like an afro. Supposed to be a moon. Oh, someone said red flag. 
is telling someone you love them a week into the talking stage run that's that's, that's, that's love, love bombing. bombing it's not real it's not how it's a ploy that they use to get you attached to them in a sense and then they, you. And then they like they control you. yeah they want to control you that's not love please run if someone's doing that run if you don't want that in your life yeah, it's not healthy they don't, love you like, they don't they do not love you that's having no filter i'd take someone that has absolutely no filter than someone that has is just a filter. walking filter yeah, because now, hey, now you're telling me I'm the prettiest girl you've ever seen. Mm. I could be the most beautiful girl you've seen. That's different because beauty is in life. Mm -hmm. But now you're telling me I'm the prettiest. You're telling me there's one prettier than me. No, you're lying. Why? I just saw Why? her on my 40 piece for something. But uh, having someone that, that doesn't have a filter keep them around, bruh. Sometimes people, they just say things to please you. Sometimes you need the cold, hard truth. You need to be, to be knocked back into reality and that. And those people that talk without filters are the ones that are gonna do that for you don't you keep someone that has no filter oh this one i look horrid ah <laughs> now i'm busy with this guy whatever you're expecting i need you to drastically lower them and i want to put this on my wall now it looks unbeautiful ah! you you will be able to add that in you will be able to do what, what are you gonna do about it? She literally thinks she's like the strongest person I in the am. world. I'm a big girl. She thinks she's stronger than me. I am. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm pushing I'm a very strong little baby. Strong little baby. Strong little person. Little person. So you, you do I'm make very you small. <laughs> like they put this thing in my head. I just never thought I was tiny ever. Like, do you think I look tiny right now? No. I look like the tallest motherfucker on earth. But they be telling me that I'm short mm. and I'm average height. Another red flag, if he's entertaining other girls. Yeah, that is a red flag. That is very, that is a very much, a very big, a very bright a very red flag. Bright red flag telling me to run. Because. Unless he, y'all had an understanding. Unless he's very open about it and everyone knows, Hori, this dude is, like that's just how he is. is. Then you're signing up for that, honestly. Because you. Because he's only shit, bro. It's not like he's doing it behind corners. The fact that you know. Do you still wanna go there? Yeah, girl, that's on you then. You're saying it's a couple Some people really do that though. Yeah, bro. Mandam has been doing it. You think you're gonna no, change, I can change, change him? No. I'm trying, trying to change, change people, people bro. Stop looking for projects, guys. Go study. Like oh, <sighs> if you're on a project, build a house. Thank you. Leave like, these boys alone. They don't want to be fixed. There's a reason they're like this. Mm. And yo, the one who think you can fix it, it's not gonna be fixed by you. Yeah. One day he's gonna find a hand that one likes him for who he is, then he's gonna change. Watch yeah. that. Watch. That's just the thing. Um one of one of the hardest things that people like struggle to accept is that everyone's capable of change. It's just a matter of them Ooh, yeah, yeah, of who, who are they capable of changing, of changing for. for. Yeah. You're just not that person. You're just not that person. person. That's not a reflection of you or who yeah. you are. It's just not, it's just, it's just, don't go to him if you yeah. know that's not what you want. Why are you there? Like, don't irritate me. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't put yourself in a predicament where you think. Yo, now you're crying. Sobbing, headaches, mm -hmm. loss of appetite. Mm -hmm. You're starving yourself there. It's so cute, girl. Sometimes he's there living his life. He's not bothered. He's not, not bothered. It was just your turn. <laughs> Like, now he's gonna so move on with his life, you know. Yeah. Okay. Guys, how can you do nice and sweet? Like, I think it's about you now. She doesn't know how to accept compliments. Yeah, but this. But she loves compliments. Like, compliment. if you want dinner, compliment her. Not that any of you have a chance, but like, you know? But don't overdo it, because then I'm like, how are you? Yeah, life? now you're love for me. Yeah, oh well. There's a line. Like, come on now. It's just nice to hear it once in a while. It's nice that only comes from someone who doesn't really do it much. Yeah, then you know that they mean it. Hence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he compares you to your friends and vents to your friends instead of you, are you in a relationship with, with me or my friend. friends? What's going on? Uh uh, something's not right there. But vents about you to the friend. And he or she raises their voice in an argument. 
that happens they're just emotional yeah sometimes need to take and a break from each other yeah, yeah. and then come back it's together and discuss you once you once you calm down they're just an emotional person but if it's a he mm. now watch if you get hit <laughs> oh bruh yeah. they're lashing out bro. Yeah, uh, that's why you shouldn't be outdated than emotional men yes Take one that thinks logically, uh, logic because logic. mm -hmm. then things like that happen, and then it's like you knew what you put your you got yourself into. Mm. When a guy claims his side chick as his cousin, oh! and his siblings back him up. <gasps> Oh it's a family God. business at that point. Oh it's a family me. business. Oh my days, he's such a manipulator. He manipulated the whole family. The whole family is back in his, his lies. Like you. His delusions. Yeah, the, yeah, the family doesn't like you. The family doesn't fuck with you. Just, uh, Just you move, move yeah, you move yourself out from that equation, my sister. Okay, what to do? They would have told you. Who's out here going on leads with their cousin? Who's out here putting their cousin as a profile wallpaper picture. and profile picture? Be fucking for, for real. real because that's weird. You actually like that with your cousin. Why? When I can't show them to my parents, why can't you show How them? They are then that's a red flag on your parents. On you? Why are you dating if you're you? gonna be dating in secret? That's a How thing. okay? How old are you? Yeah. How old? How old is he? How old is he? What are the reasons? That you can't show them and show your parents. Mm. Why are you scared of your person? Because now it's not even a relationship, it's just a, a secret. Why is your person a secret? Fix yourself. Yeah. At that Guys, point. Guys, this is how it looks now. Ah! It's gonna look so nice. Ah. It looks so bad, you know. Guy who gets along with every girl. Ew. And vice versa, a girl that gets along with every guy. Ew. Because. I don't like that. Like, yeah, no, they can't be there to be fake. With everybody. You have to be fake. It's not even getting along as in, like, you don't have beef with everyone. Like, getting along as you like, can chow me, chow me, chow me, chow me, chow me. Like, oh, no. Wow. no. The, who, who are the real people? Who do they Everyone, mean? everyone can't be your, your people, dog. You can't be people with everyone. Ooh. Buddy, buddy, best friends. With everyone, and it's like females. Oh, oh, kind of. Females. That is not my cup of tea let it take someone who doesn't get along with anyone yeah and only me me yeah i like that one yeah that one i'll take <laughs> any day i'll take but like now, as for special. you getting along with every single person every Tom Dick every Jimmy. every single every samantha now imagine imagine you're talking to a guy and he's always kiki kaka with every a girl. girl every single girl no she's just my friend why are you lying and then you're gonna kiki kaka with me the same way you're kiki kaka with Samantha. Yeah. Yeah. A gent with a silver slash gold tooth. That is a red flag. Yeah. Even on females. Move that thing. She must take it off. Take it ASAP, no rocky. Like, what is that? It's uh -huh. people that like things. Especially at our age, you have it. Like, who was influencing you? No one at our I age. I know our, our older, the older generations, it was a trend. Yeah, it was it's a not trend. a trend now. No, it's no longer a trend. Like, why do you have Now you before? just like things. I'm literally 17 with a go to. Uh, Who influenced you? Uh, you. Do better. Do better, bro. Something needs to change. It's your teeth. It's your teeth that needs to change. Go, <laughs> go to the dentist and let them take it up now. Let them fix that shit. You know, when I was younger, I thought they, like, it was a permanent thing. Like, I thought they took out their tooth. Oh. I was like, why would you? Let me say this, I won't tell you you're beautiful because you already know. I feel so mm. mm. Why would like there has to be some type of abuse? What do you mean? An abuse. Like you know you're jealous of me. Now you're depriving me of good things. Good things. I won't tell you you're beautiful because you already know. What's that, bro? What do you mean by that, bro? You're just jealous of me. That's what it is. Like if you hate me, just say this. It's just jealousy now. No, you just wanna be me. Sure. He'll tell you he won't tell you he loves you because you know. Ah! Don't get you flowers because you already know how much you deserve. So <gasps> what the <laughs> No. It's so much deeper, it's eh? It's deeper because like now he's gonna take it extra. Yeah, he's gonna take it all the way. Someone said smiling when girls flirt. So your he's guy is smiling. Are you trying to say he'll be with him? Some girl compliments him. Every time, every time. 
she okay fine you can blush you can be like thank you and keep it pushing don't be full on smiling ah oh, thank you ah oh, you know now we want to make conversation i need him to brush now brush if off he's compliments. flirting if it's flirting like now you can tell Corina why are you smiling that wasn't funny i need i need i need him to brush off the compliments and be like thank, thank you, you and keep it pushing but now make a conversation because now obviously she's trying to move to you reason to be talking about her way to go to her and he can confidently tell you that he's going out with a girl that's not a red flag yeah but what is it like what what do you mean they're going out like, like he's, he's, he's seeing other taking... people he, you're not the only person that he's seeing he's being honest with you he's telling you straight up this is what i'm doing but can you see other people see that's where the conversation comes in if you want to see other people then you bring it up you're like okay cool since we're not exclusive I know where your loyalties lie and they clearly don't really lie with me. It's gonna take someone who's gonna tell me straight up. I'm also I'm seeing other people, you're not the only one I'm seeing. Like, okay, oh, cool. Fucking weird. Would you rather have someone that's seeing other people and not tell you? Because no. um her thing is when he can confidently tell you, confidently tell you that he's seeing other people, that he's going out with another girl. Like other girls. Mm. Like you're not the only person that he's seeing. Is if you don't want that then you can leave but when he confidently tells you if i want to stay if i if i want to be a part of that i'll be a part of it if i don't want to be a part of that you can kiss my ass while i walk out the door because i'm not gonna stay in a situation that i don't feel comfortable staying in when he ignores you in public but ah! but <laughs> but why is he ignoring you in public let's start there but slides in your dms and says freaky stuff why are you giving this guy the time of day? Why is he not like is it a thing where y'all are sneaky links because that could be a thing? Are y'all like sneaky links or is it like a serious thing? Or... Were these terms and conditions disclosed before the yeah, like what's going on? I don't understand. But now if he feels like y'all are sneaky links, obviously he's not gonna talk to you. Yeah, then like, like, like girl, do you know what you signed up you for? Need to understand that this is what I'm here for. Mm. So you really need to leave that situation. Yeah, you should be like, okay, my age is fun without me bye 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 <laughs> when he's always on his phone before seven you come on he's on his phone like every time you guys are together he's always on his phone okay then that's us you guys will be having conversations and he's on his phone okay no because <laughs> already as it is when i'm on facetime i'm talking to a person mm. and they're doing something while talking to me you feel uncomfortable yeah i'll just be like okay go do your thing we'll talk later Sometimes it's not even like I'm touched, just like if I get what you yeah, mean. with someone right across the table okay, and they're on their phone all the time. Like maybe once in a while it's fine because like maybe, you know, something came up and you need to answer something or take someone real quick. But all the time. That's how mine is looking so far. Mine's looking bad. It's coming together. Oh, a man that wants to go 50-50. Did he ask you out on the date? And then now he's on some 50 50. Honestly, that's a blessing in disguise. Then you know the type of guy that you're dealing with. Yeah. And it can be like, you know, never to go out with him again. Bye. This but is no, not what make, I'm looking for. I'm just trying to make you the guy. Like, hmm? If you want me to be the man, tell me. Yeah, say, say it. Tell your me. chest. And I'll be the man in every way. But if that's not what you're looking for, then be like, yeah, dude. Dude. Bye. 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 If you can go the whole day without texting you back. Yo, that's a red flag, bro. Don't do that to yourself. Leave that man. Like, that frustrates me. I like attention, mm. personally. If you're gonna be busy, you know how Tell easy it is to just let, let me know. Just be like, me, I'll leave you, bro. Yo, bro. Me, I'll leave you. Eh. Bro, the whole day. The whole day. What There's 24 doing? hours in a day. What are you doing? Trust and believe they're not busy. 24 the full 24 hours they're not they're not they're not they're not they just don't want to talk to you they'd, they'd rather be doing something else yeah we know if you want I'm not asking i'm not asking you to like tell me what you're doing i'm not asking you to you're doing it business. but like if you're if you're gonna be busy just send a text to me oh, hi i'm gonna be busy for the day you know i'll talk to you later you know such sweetness <gasps> beauty yo yo now you're stressing me bro Absolutely not. I don't know if you're dead or alive or you just don't want to talk to you. Mm. That's painful. It only gets worse from there. Yeah. It's a whole day and then they go two days. Three days. Then it's a week. Now they ghosted you, bro. And then they come back and it's supposed to be like, oh, baby, hi. No, what's up, bro? What's up, dude? What's up, G? 
Slime. What's popping? It's coming together, man. You see? Yeah. No, not me. I'm doing the. He talks too much. She go. Do you guys hear? She does this and she expects me to know what she's talking about. Oh, why well, she doesn't know she's involved. Do it again. What's up, mm? What's up, eh? Yeah. Hey, hey, well, and then I'm probably like, what's up, eh? And then you talk too much, but that's what he is. Cause she a fool on that. I'm like, 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 Get it because I don't think you could be straight up platonic friends with someone that you had genuine romantic feelings for, especially probably wasn't that deep. Yeah, it probably wasn't like y'all were probably just living a lie, you know. But if you really love that person, you will not want to be friends with that human. And like it was, it was, it was both ways. It wasn't just, just bro. Oh, I thought it, it was no ways. Break your hearts, and it could be that the one person still likes you, and the other one is just like, you know. Mm. I'm adding life to the cross right now. I'm trying to bring some dimension into it, cause right now it's giving to the. Don't worry, don't worry. That's mine now. Sorry. That's mine. It looks horrible. She doesn't have the bags. What's over it? Not having a social media presence. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's a. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's a. It's a red flag. It's attractive. There's me. bigger things in life than and staring at your screen. Trust us, we know. Yeah, we do. It's coming from us. It's coming from us. Eh? Let's be, believe. We know. Yeah. It is black. Do you prefer mm -hmm. to use this? Yes, black. Yeah. Disrespecting people like waiters, janitors, etc. Just because you feel you're better than them, you're not Ew. better than anyone. Ew. Not better than anybody. What it comes down to is your moral compass. Yeah, he's not cute. Yeah, no. Just because it's less attractive. Mm. Although he's it is definitely a red flag, so it's a you're onto something. You should be respectful to everybody. And you know that's a really good thing to look out for in the first day, yes. especially if you're doing like a first date at like a restaurant yeah. and stuff. That's why it's really a good thing to go to a restaurant on the first date. Mm. So now you see how they interact with people, mm. or at least go order from somewhere. Yeah, and you can see, see how he interacts with the person that's taking the order. You know? Oh, you're rude. Eh, mm. Ah! It looks like an alien. Look at the eyes. Oh, Look at the eyes, guys. You are oh, oh no. The eyes. The eyes looks like. Uh -uh, it looks nah. like that. That um SpongeBob's pet. Yeah, I can see that. What's his name? Gary. Gary. Yeah. Looks like Gary. To so go group every weekend, like religiously, without fail, <laughs> every weekend. Not even look, baby. Let's take this. Stay in this weekend. Maybe watch a movie. <laughs> Yeah, you know, grooving it requires Zaka. There's no way you can leave the house without him. If she has a gent. Yeah, as a gent. As a girl, maybe you can. Yeah. But, as a gent. but as a gent, you're the one that has to bring the bottles and. So he has money. He can't even think to take you out on a date. Mm. Easy girl. Someone that always wants to be out. Why are you? Why are you in a relationship acting like you're single? It, it's okay. Be. It's okay to want to go out once in a while. Once you found your person, like if if you're in a in a in a relationship, shouldn't you be want to be doing more things with the person that you're with, like you're in a relationship with, and creating more memories with them? Now you have this person that you're dating that's acting like they're not in a relationship. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I do know how I feel, but I don't like it. If you want to be with your single friends and doing single activities so bad, then be single. Like, don't let me stop you from having fun. So that's the only way you think you can have one. The norm. Go have it, babes. Don't let me stop you. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I'm gonna be at home, chilling, relaxing, cooling, wanting to spend time with you, and you'd rather be out with your best pals every single weekend. I understand once in a while. 
It's because your relationship doesn't mean you don't have friends or you don't have a life out of your relationship. Once you're in a relationship, like things have to change. You can't be acting like you're single. What is that? Don't bother me. I'll drop you so quick. Don't try me. But yeah. Mm. But we to do ambience for you guys. Yeah, let's set the mood. That's what this is there for. Someone who posts about your relationship downfalls on his story. What about the apps? Why, why, are you you airing, why are you airing your dirty laundry on social media for everyone to see? Like, what, what? what's the outcome from that, bruh? What, okay, what must happen it's once so you childish. post it? It's so childish. So and childish. it's something I feel like girls are more prone to do. Yeah, As a guy, guys. why are you doing that? Guys, girls be posting. Oh, love me no, no more. Oh, love me no more. As a dude, why are you doing that? Why? Why are you doing that? That's not a man. That's not your husband. That's not your husband. Leave that thing. <laughs> Leave that thing. <laughs> Yo, is the... That's my girl. That's my girl. Guys, my my boob is more um my boobs are not equal. But bear in mind the shirt is covering the other boob. So it looks like an eye. Continue, we'll see how it looks like at the end. How do I do the shirt? Must I start with white and then I'll go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being controlling and dictative. That person is not looking for a relationship, they're looking for a puppet. What yeah. time is this guy in there? Mm -hmm. It's like amazing. Mm -hmm. There was this girl who was dating her boyfriend and then she would go to the house, like the boyfriend's house, all the time that she was known for being there. Mm -hmm. And apparently, the dad was like an amazing person. But the mom was horrible. She was like a horrible person. Mm -hmm. And one day she asked the man and she was like, because they've had like really deep conversations, like he was just like a good person all around. Mm -hmm. So then she asked him, um, what pro like what made you marry her? Mm -hmm. And he said to her, She was willing to give up her dream for mine. Oh. Basically. So she was willing to be my puppet. She was willing to do everything for me. For me to do what I had to do or what I wanted to do. If we say jump, she would say how high. She, yes, she, would, she wasn't going to question it. No matter how horrible she was. And that's why he married her. He didn't marry her because he loved her. Mm -hmm. So now, you're just going to become that person. He doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. He just wants you because you're willing to do things that other girls are not willing to do. In other words, run. In other words, run. Because that person is looking for a life partner. They're looking for a puppet. Yeah. Someone that they can control more. Control and they will succeed because obviously now you're here mm. and his snap score is too high 20,000 plus hey why who are you talking to who are you snapping like uh, that like, snap score is like when you take when you when you that's the amount of snaps you've i think it's sent and yeah or sends and receives yeah i think so mm. i don't know how snapchat works it. for real here and i say we don't really do snapchat we do Instagram, Twitter, yeah, I, yeah. When he has a girl bestie, did he have this girl bestie before, before you or after you? Like after you've been introduced into his... And how long before? If it yeah. was like a month before. <laughs> uh, he that's not, yeah, the, yeah, that was a failed talking stage. Yeah, and he went to you. But like if it's before you, if it has nothing to do with you. If, if it's before you, I'm sorry, but you have no say. Because she was there before you. Yeah, like, no, she's like, probably going to be there after, after you. you. Yeah. Get used to her. Unless she's like evil, then there's something wrong. Yeah, bring it up. If Obviously, be, be respectful because that's his mess. But you know, some of these girls are uh, strong. Dog. Are there boundaries that she's adhering to? The boundaries that he's making sure that she adheres to? <laughs> if the answer to those questions are no, he gets no. That's why I'm laughing. Then don't stress. Don't don't be in a relationship with this guy. I don't want you. And if he got this best friend after you guys are in a relationship, on what level was he talking to this girl that is not a family member? For for them to not be friends. 
best friends. I'm not a best friend. It is someone you talk to regularly. Yeah, on a regular basis about not surface level things like, yeah, deep it's like deep stuff. Why did he, after being in a relationship with you, why did he feel the need to now go and confide in somebody else? Why could he confide in you? Mm. Especially if it's after. If it's after, we're talking about after. Mm, after. Because obviously before you went there. Like, you went there. And now you can't expect like shit to change. Yeah, no. Uh -uh. Who are you? Uh, hey, I've had some horror stories. Really? Yeah, about like my best friend was there before the the girlfriend now. Yeah. And she she was like telling him like she's not comfortable with one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And this guy had been besting with this girl for like years, maybe like two two years or something. Yeah. So then when she brought it up, he literally he was like, "Who do you think you are?" Okay, Talking now, about now my right. like. No, but like that's that's how it is with some people. Why are you being? It's not even like I'm trying to be rude about the situation you all have, but I'm just voicing my concerns. I don't know how she voiced it, or maybe she said something that just. But he was like, okay. he was like, I'm done. Huh? He was like, cause he's like, he's like, he's like, I've been, I've, it's been like this with her forever. So why do you think I'm gonna change how I've been with her right. just because you don't feel comfortable? Because I'm here now. Why are you, why are you? Some guys, bruh. But I don't know. Some guys. So I, I'd obviously prefer if he didn't have a girl face too. But if he does, before me. What can I do? As long as he's respectful and she's respectful, I don't have a problem with it. But if he's not, if he's not, re if she's not respectful, and he doesn't feel the need to bring it up with her because obviously it comes down to respect. And like, you should respect me enough to know that certain things are not acceptable when you're in a relationship to do with other people that are not in a relationship, but even if you are in relationships. Well, in sense, yeah. would, would you be in a relationship with someone that has a girl best friend? Like, son, and like, straight up on this friend? Um, yeah, like, I'm a girl best friend. What's wrong with you? What, what, what am I lacking that you must now go be looking for in somebody else? Okay, guys. This is how mine is looking so far. I don't know if you can tell, but those are two ghosts. Oh, let me getting paint on myself. Oh, I'm gonna go wash it out before it dries. Like, what, what is that? I don't know what I can do with this paint. I don't know. I really don't, because I don't want to do that t shirt because this is just so hard. I should have just done this. See, this is so easy. Like, it's just a body look. What I've done already. But now it looks like. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me try to use this marker to outline my panty. Because I have a few. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Oops, it's super bitch. It's super bitch. Now it's starting to look like a panty. Mm -hmm. It looks like the bag. Maybe I can make this the bag. Why am I so bad at this? Do you think this can be a bag? And I just carry it on and put that one up here. Dinelle! Yeah? Can I make this a bag? A bag? If you guys see this tag, it's because it's literally the other way around. But that's fine. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. Mama's boy. If he treats her right, you are good. Yeah. That's good. But sometimes maybe mama's boy is like, oh, it's only a problem if a guy's a mama's boy if you're gonna marry him. Let's be honest. If you're not gonna marry him, then like it's not your business. But if he's a mama's boy, you're gonna be competing with the mom. If you deep it, there's levels to it. If you're a mama's boy in the sense of like you take care of like your mom, you, you care for her, like you're respectful, it's but a good relationship. But you wife at some point will have to come before yeah, your mom. Then, that's your family. Yeah, then that's fine. But if it's like... You think there's no one in the world that beats your mom? Yo, bruh. Okay, then, you need therapy. Yeah. Imagine how every day you cook something, this guy's comparing it to the way oh, how oh, my, my mom days cooks it. Oh my Ah! Go live with your mom. Go, go please mom. go marry your mom. Actually, like go, it's fine. <laughs> we, we can understand the pain. You're a bad grandma. <laughs> Do you think that's a flag? It bothers me. 
it's just not something that I would double in. Like if the person you're texting or you're involved in and they can't spell for you. I don't know. It's not even bad grammar as in like they can't spell or they misspell things. It's they don't care so, what they're sending you. No, it's not so bad grammar when they don't care what they're sending you. They're mm -hmm. like G U D. Ah. Oh, oh N -Y -T. Even they ah. 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 You see, ah. that's ah. because ah. now you don't care like how I see you, which yeah. means you don't care if like, you know, shit's going on between us. Okay. Mm. So if it's like that, or maybe like they spell a word, that's fine. Like, yeah, you know, or here and there, like, try like, the 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 thing looks majority of it. Mm, yeah. mm. But now when like they when you like Chess, fast fast like, things like they doing text messaging time. language, no, mm -mm. respect me every Unless single friends, time. If we're friends, are you doing that? Ah, I'm not even oh, friends. I don't know friends be doing that yeah. shit. First of all, grow up. Yeah, grow up like you know how to spell. Jeez. Yeah, telling me G U D. Yeah, I'll block mm. you. Time. Just don't call it. I mean, don't text at all. Always don't call them because you know that you text guy. Mm -mm -mm. For the guy to be having too many female friends, but gay, where he's very flirtatious. Too much of anything is that good. It's not good. Yeah. Does he have like guy friends that he he hangs out with? Mm. Or is he always with he girls? Always with like girls. How long have you both been friends? Um, three years. Yeah, this this year makes three years. Yeah. Three years of awesomeness and yeah, healthy. Like one I'm thing sure. I have not experienced in this friendship is toxicity. toxicity. It's very like healthy. Yo, oh, it's so healthy. This is the healthiest thing I've ever been inside. I don't understand how. I think healthiest. I was never the problem in my relationships. Oh. <laughs> they were the problem because. Oh, <laughs> it's as that's convincing as they're like I was never the problem. I was never the never problem. problem. No, I feel like we found it was right person, right time. We found each other. Literally at the right time. At the right time. I'm so glad I wasn't friends with you in grade, grade nine. In grade nine, because the person I was in grade nine is different. From is so nine. different from ridiculous. So it's very healthy three years. Actually, mm. we we like drive each other. Mm. Make each other like better. So that's what you want in friendship. Oh, dang. Is that all? Yeah. Hey guys, so that makes the end of the Q&A red flags talking portion. This is my final product. It looks like an alien, but it's my first painting. It's cute. I like it. It came out so good. Yeah. I sent it to as well. I always pay it nowadays. Always pay. Huh? I think so. Hey. Mm. I think that's it. That's nice. Always liked it. It's just that now I find myself playing it more and liking it more. And this is so fat. I want to crush. I want to get a box. Like I don't like this at all. What's wrong with him? Where was he two years ago? So when you're famous, I have your finger. Mm. Set for some. I have. Cat. I have the. I have the <laughs> Denar's fingerprint. Somebody. I'm done. I'm also done. That's mine. Hey guys, that makes the end of the video. If you in, ciao. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, like comment. comment and subscribe and subscribe to Velo's channel it's going to be linked down below we can add she's going to show you how to do that i didn't know we could do that but yeah guys um all that being said i hope you have a lovely morning day evening or night and don't forget to drink water yes stay hydrated please and mind your damn business mind the business that pays you yes okay